Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Armored Warfare. In today's episode I'm going to cover another new tank that I haven't featured on my channel before and a lot of you guys, surprisingly a lot of you guys are actually requesting to see what I think about the tank. Is it going to be worth the money you have to pay for that or not? Because in my previous episode about another new tank, Typhoon 2, uh, same goes to this tank as well. And to be able to get it you have to buy one of those um, uh, collector's edition packages. Now, is it going to be worth the money or not? Hopefully, uh, we are going to find that out in this episode. Is this tank going to be worth the money? And according to some of the comments uh, in my previous episode about Typhoon 2, I have to talk about one thing. Seems like uh, some of you guys are thinking that I'm getting paid from Armored Warfare making those episodes or leaving links in the description. Uh, no, guys. The answer is no. I'm not going to get anything from Armored Warfare uh, for doing these episodes. I'm doing those episodes just to keep you updated, just to let you know what is going on in the game and uh, what is going to be happening in the future and uh, so on, just to inform you guys. So hopefully there is your answer and uh, no more questions about that. Uh, but uh, in today's episode I am going to play with RDF-LT, also known as T-Rapid Deployment Force Light Tank. On the background you're going to see one of my most interesting gameplays with RDF. Not the highest amount of damage done because my damage record in this vehicle is uh, close to 6000 damage done, uh, 5950 if I remember correctly and I actually have had a few 5k damage games as well, uh, which is not bad because with standard AP round, not heat round that I'm using at the moment over here, uh, you have quite low alpha damage, like 240 and something like that is going to be your average alpha damage uh, if you hit, if you bend with standard AP rounds. But uh, lightly armored tanks like artilleries are, uh, heat rounds are going to work super good. Uh, so, really interesting gameplay on the background. As in the start, you see, I climbed up the hill just to get few first spottings. Uh, then maybe some light tanks in the middle or something like that. I didn't see anything. I used my uh, light tank power, ECU override, to get better acceleration and uh, better movement on rough terrains, stuff like that. I was able to cross that airfield uh, super quickly and I was able to get behind enemy lines, destroy two artilleries. Best start of the day, isn't it? <laughs> two artilleries are down. And now it is time to flank uh, a few enemy tanks over here like Chieftain and uh, Terminator and uh, so on. But anyways, TRDF, uh, the Rapid Development Force Light Tank, it was actually a private venture by a corporation that had built prototypes for the United States Army in the past. The vehicle was first shown in the 1980s and many different prototypes versions were built, fitted with different cannons for aircraft or ground troops. So actually it had AAV version as well, anti-aircraft vehicle version. But this project never saw active service and uh, it was cancelled in the 1985. Uh, but luckily we were able to enjoy this tank in Armored Warfare. But uh, let's talk about this tank in the game, how it is in the game. As it is light tank, it has light tank perks, like has good mobility and better handling on off-road terrain. Uh, always good to have better acceleration and speed while you're driving off-road, while you're climbing up the hills and stuff like that. Awesome. And no penalty to aiming while driving forwards or backwards at low speed. This is actually a really good feature. Uh, let's say you fully aimed in, you're moving slowly forward or backwards, uh, your aiming circle is not going to change. Love it. Uh, now the special ability as you saw at the start of the battle as well, this was that ECU override uh, that uh, has the ability to increase engine output that makes you faster. Uh, pretty much better acceleration and uh, higher speed, higher stop speed, better drop speed uh, for a short period of time. I believe it was like 5 seconds. You're going to see that uh, over here as well soon. I'm going to use that once again. It is really useful to get away or to chase down targets. So here we go. Boom, like rocket. Now, talking about gun stats, uh, average damage is 266, but you have to keep in mind that I'm using one retrofit uh, unit that gives you plus 5% damage. In my opinion, with that rate of fire, 4.23 second reloading time, 5% uh, extra damage adds up really quickly. 
Uh, so 266 average damage with uh, that retrofit, 255 penetration, average damage per minute, 3782. Not bad guys. And I have to say really good hits at that fox, high speed tank and perfect hits. Anyways, hit points. 1494 hit points. Uh, with retrofit that gives you extra 7.5% hit points. Useful. Armor, you have no armor whatsoever, so do not even think that you're going to bounce anything because 16, 16 and 10 is nothing. Okay. Speed, 65 km per hour with acceleration from 0 to 32 uh, with 3.9 seconds. It is okay. Uh, gun handling, gun depression and gun elevation is really good actually. Uh, reload time 4.23 seconds as mentioned. Accuracy 0 0.08 and targeting time 2.36 seconds. As you saw from the replay as well, gun handling is really good. Acceleration and all that. I'm happy. All in all mobility is good, gun handling is good. Top speed, yeah, could be better. But uh, as it is... Uh, light tank with tracks not with wheels you're not going to be able to achieve that high speed as you're able to do with uh, some of those destroyers that can go up to 100 and even more and even faster which is just crazy uh, but uh, this game was gg i enjoyed it a lot now let's check the scoreboard it was one of my most interesting games as i mentioned and uh, it was really fun to flank enemy tanks and so on so a lot of medals over here my Sabrina Washington is almost level 4. A Master Gunner, a Ace Tanker destroyed the most enemy tanks. 5 kills at least. A Gold Medal earned the highest reputation and uh, I spotted the most targets. Spotting damage as well, 1563. So over 2k reputation and uh, top by damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say that 321,000 credit profit. Not just income, it was profit. Awesome. Already in my next battle, as you can see, outgoing damage, 2,217 damage done already. Uh, with AP shells exclusively. No heats used, I believe. Yeah, I didn't use any heat shells um, as of now. And another really awesome thing about this tank is camo rating. I have never been spotted in the position where I am right now. As you can see, I'm just spamming my shots, uh, non-stop shooting. Pretty much as soon as I have shell reloaded, I am firing. So I can say that in this battle I spent more time reloading than uh, keeping my shell in the gun, ready to fire. That doesn't happen too often. And on the background you can hear some clicking, sorry guys, uh, recording and sound. Uh, in this clip is uh, pretty bad, but what can you do? Now, as you can see, first position treated me really well. 2858 damage done. I have full HP, it is time to move up. And I'm going to be the first tank, although I do not have any armor, so every single shot that is going to be flying towards me is going to be a penetration. But I do not give a damn, because it was my turn to go in. It was my time to take in that damage, to distract enemy tanks, otherwise we would still be sitting up there, uh, waiting for someone to move in. So, I saw the opportunity, I did that. Now just chilling, waiting for my teammates, and job well done. And seems like we destroyed every single tank on the east side of the map. No enemy vehicles over here. Uh, enemy artillery spotted. Um, I'm going to be fast enough? Nope, sadly not. So they have one more artillery left and yeah, west side our tanks are in peak peak trouble. So at least they are cornered in and uh, we... At least enemy tanks are cornered and we know where they are. So one more artillery should be up here somewhere and I'm going to use my tank speed to get there fast. Expeditionary tank. <laughs> what a hit! 137 damage done. A low amount of damage uh, but still hit is a hit. Um, I'm going to be able to get another one. <laughs> so perfect hits. I don't know this tank. Really this... <laughs> Come on, this tank is for me, guys. Everything is working out, like in the first battle. So, so many good hits. Enjoying the living hell out of this tank, and uh, 
this tank is working for me as well, so we just might be the best friends. Or might become the best friends. I do not know. Typhoon 2 was super awesome tank as well. So they are equal at the moment. I would say Typhoon 2 was really, really fun tank as well. And I have to buy uh, my good old VFM back, VFM 5. That is a tier 6 premium tank right now. I haven't tested it out after they made uh, VFM premium tank. So maybe VFM is going to be my best friend. Ooh, so many good friends. <laughs> yeah. But it is time to flank uh, Terminator. It is time to flank uh, Chieftain Mark V. So let's do that. Uh, who do we have over here? First shot, no damage done whatsoever. This is Terminator, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a beast! Critical track damage. At least this guy was tracked and our Terminator uh, got easy anti tank guided missile hit on enemy Terminator. And uh, Chieftain, Mark V, hello! Easy ancient shot. I have only 9 AP shells left. Can you imagine that? Commander hit. Now I just need to get someone over here to help me out. And seems like Ally Terminator is uh, coming for us. So let's do that. And while I was playing that game I thought, can I really cross 5k damage in this battle? Only two tanks left, so if I'm going to get a few more shots into that Chieftain I'm going to be able to do that. So I know Chieftain is aiming at me, Terminator moves in and trying to get uh, side shots. Good play by the Terminator, by the way. So, firing as fast as I can, hit overmatch, but in the engine, critical shot up to 351 roll. Can Terminator relieve another shot? Doesn't seem like it. Chieftain, uh, Chieftain Mark V was able to get Terminator. But right after that, I was able to get that Chieftain. And Terminator, of course, a noob in the chat. Seems like I'm going to be the noob. Noob RDF. Thank you, mate. But at least I was able to get close to 6,000 damage done. As you're going to see from the scoreboard, because uh, some of my shots at the start of the battle were blind shots. And seems like I did penetrate at least one of them. Once again, gold medal. That means the highest amount of uh, reputation in the winning team. And accuracy medal as well. But 5,835 damage done. 4 kills. 5 spotting and look at the amount of reputation and credits. 8520 reputation. Crazy. With all the doubles, daily doubles. So not a bad game to get for your first victory of the day. And from the damage board you can see more than twice the damage as the second guy in our team. Wow. And from that battle I managed to receive 418,000 credit profit. Yeah, crazy. So ladies and gentlemen, this is RDF LT, tier 6 light tank, or the Rapid Deployment Force light tank. My personal opinion, this is going to be worth the money, as Typhoon 2 is going to be worth the money. Uh, because I enjoyed the living hell out of Typhoon 2 as well, but with Typhoon 2 you have to be 10 times more passive than with RDF. So if you like to be aggressive, if you like to play with light tanks, obviously RDF is for you. So my personal opinion, once again, I can recommend. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, I hope it was informative, and I hope to see you in here next time as well. Take care and bye.